Hey, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a very, very easy and free uh, protector for your uh, seat tube right here to protect it from rocks that your tires are, are throwing up. Um, as you can uh, see, my bike only has a very thin piece of metal here between the uh, seat stay and the chain stay, and that allows my tire to throw all sorts of stuff onto my seat tube and I don't know if you guys can see but I've got a couple of small chips here nothing that I'm really worried about but um, I really want to keep my bike in as pristine shape as possible so I looked around and I really didn't see anything on the market that I I liked and I had the rear shock out anyway because I sent it out for service so I thought hey I'm going to make something myself and Basically, what I'm going to need is an old inner tube, and you can get this for free. I got it from a bike shop. Somebody had a, a pinch flat, so it's a perfectly good tube. Nice and thick Maxis. Um, I'm going to need a pair of scissors. Uh, just a ruler to make sure that I get the, the correct dimensions. And a couple of zap straps or zip ties, whatever you want to call them, uh, to fasten it onto the tube. And that's it. So really it's it's stuff you probably have lying around your house anyway. And it's a, a quick little um, project that you can do in a few minutes and your bike will thank you for it. I do have my bike ride wrapped, but the ride wrap ends about here. So that still allows um, everything from here to here uh, to, uh, be showered with rocks. I was going to put on more ride wrap, but I don't know if you guys can tell in the video, but it's already peeling here, and I I kind of wanted something a little bit uh, thicker than just the, the the little ride wrap. So what I'm going to do first is measure how long my tube needs to be, and I'm going to do the metric because I'm in Canada. I'm basically going to need about 10 centimeters, so that's from here to here, and I'm going to leave another, it looks like, 3 centimeters to go down here, so it can actually reach all of that. Uh, because of the curvature of all of the stuff here, uh, I don't think ride wrap would really uh, be a long-term solution. It also throws a lot of water and dirt and rocks on here, uh, and I just really don't uh, think that film is the way to go on on this particular area. So that's what I'm going to do. 10 centimeters long. I'm going to measure it out on my tube. Very, very simple. I'm going to anywhere really cut this tube in half. Then I'm going to measure out about probably 13, 14 centimeters. So I have that little uh, place on the bottom to hang down. I'll start here. It's not going to be the prettiest thing, but uh, as much as I love my bike looking, uh, looking good, mountain bikes are they don't always need to be the prettiest things. So once I've got my my length of tube, I'm going to cut it in half and just kind of test fit it, see how it looks. I also cleaned this tube very thoroughly and I think that looks pretty good. I mean, from a few meters away, you won't be able to tell what's going on. So what I'm going to do is just cut out those little, where the uh, bottom bracket is, so it can hang down. And protect the area I need to be protected. It does not need to, need to look pretty, it just needs to work. Pretty simple stuff. 
So now I've got something that covers my tube and it hangs all the way down to my bottom bracket where the end of my finger is here. So that's perfect. And what I'm going to do now is take one of my zap straps or zip ties, whatever you want to call them. And just secure it onto the frame. The tube is is wide enough that I can double up a little bit so I can make sure that I don't scratch the frame. I'm overlapping a little bit on the ride wrap which is nice that means that there's no area that doesn't have any protection. And I'm going to do the same on the bottom. As you can tell, it's not going to get in the way of anything. And it'll make me feel a lot better the next time I'm on a gravelly section. I hate that ping noise when you know you just hit your frame. Uh, with a massive rock chipping your paint. Uh, this is also a carbon frame, so uh, it's something that uh, the bike shop assures me that it's totally fine, but I just don't really feel that good when I hear that sound. That's it. Make sure that all the gaps here are closed. Not the easiest material to work with, but there you go. From here on, all I'm going to do is Tighten these up and a quick snip here, quick snip here. And that's it. Like I said, it's not the prettiest thing, but honestly, if you're not looking for it, you won't be able to tell that it's there and it's protected. I've got rubber all the way down from up from up here to right down there. So that protects it from anything the tire is going to throw up. Like I said, it's not the best looking thing, but I don't really care. It looks good enough from a few steps away and I can hit all the gravel I want without worrying about my frame. All right, well, thank you for watching. Uh, and let me know what other th tech tips or uh, tricks you want to see done um, or any trails that you want to see covered. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and see you guys soon.